Hi friends, this is Dipti and welcome to my channel Life Admin 365 and welcome to today's video. Makar Sankranti is right around the corner and what better way to celebrate it than make some tira se ladu. So come join with me as I share my go-to recipe for making tira se ladu. This recipe is a simple recipe and all it needs are six ingredients. And if you keep a few things in mind, this recipe can become your go-to or your foolproof recipe for making tira se ladu. The first thing to make sure is that you have all your ingredients prepped and ready to go. This will not only save you time and heat energy when roasting, but will also ensure that all ingredients get added to the gooey, syrupy mixture at the exact moment they are supposed to go in. Second tip is to use chikki gur to get the perfect bite for ladus. But it's a challenge to find chikki gur easily outside of India. After trial and error, I found that Kolhapuri style good is the closest to chikki good that I could find in my area. There are a couple more tips and I'll share them as we get along the video. Place a white base pan on medium heat and to it add 250 grams or 1 and 3 quarter cups of sesame seeds. Roast these seeds with continuous stirring until the color of the seeds change and the seeds start jumping in the pan. It's important to do the roasting at medium or medium low heat and do not get tempted to turn the heat on to hurry up the process. Turn off the heat and roast for an additional 1 to 2 minutes so total roasting time will be anywhere between 6 to 8 minutes. Transfer roasted sesame seeds to a larger bowl and keep it aside. Turn on the heat to medium low and with pan back on the heat, add half a cup of grated coconut. Coconut burns quickly, so pay attention and do not veer off from the stove. Roast for a couple minutes or until coconut becomes fragrant and starts changing color. Turn off heat and to the same pan, add 2 tablespoons of coarsely powdered cashews. Roast it for an additional 1 to 2 minutes. Residual heat from the hot pan is sufficient for roasting these cashews and there is no need to turn on the heat just to roast them. With the heat still turned off, add in 1 fourth cup of roasted crushed peanuts. Thoroughly mix all the ingredients in the pan to ensure that you get a homogeneous filling or a homogeneous mixture. Transfer the roasted coconut mixture to the sesame seed bowl and give this mixture a thorough mix. This is your dry lado mixture. Place pan back on medium heat and to it add 250 grams of grated jaggery. Continuously stir jaggery until it melts completely and no lumps remain. It should become syrupy consistency. an important tip to keep in mind. Ghee will keep the final mixture moist long after the heat has been turned off. When jaggery is completely melted and is now in the syrupy form, cook it for an additional 4-5 to five minutes. Every minute or two, check if the syrup is at the right consistency by dropping small droplets of the syrup in cold water bowl. If the liquid syrup comes together as a hard, firm ball like it's here, then it's perfectly cooked. However, if this ball is soft and stretchy, then the syrup needs some more cooking. It took me about 3 to 4 minutes on medium low heat after adding ghee to get to this hard ball consistency. Turn off heat and let the mixture sit for some time until it stops simmering from the residual heat. From here onwards, we have to work quickly so that we can finish making the ladus before the mixture hardens. Add in 1 teaspoon of powdered cardamom and blend it. Then add in roasted sesame seeds peanut mixture and as quickly as possible, get it incorporated with the melted jaggery. Now, the mixture is like a molten mass and is already starting to firm up. Another important tip here to remember is to keep the pan on the warm stove. Heat is already turned off, but the stove is still warm. This residual heat from the stove will keep the mixture soft and pliable, just enough for us to finish making the lados. Even though the mixture is hot to handle, it's time to get it rolling into balls. 
I like to dip my fingertips in ice cold water and apply ghee to my palms and fingertips. Ice cold water keeps my hand cold and ghee makes it easy to pick up the sticky mixture and roll it into ladoos. This is a very important tip to keep in mind when making tirase ladu or any kind of ladu where gur is used as a base. You can also use ice packs to keep your palms and fingertips cool. Pull out small portions of the sticky mixture and roll it in the palms of your hand to make ladu. As and when required, dip your fingertips in cold water or cool them with ice pack and apply ghee. Another tip to keep in mind is to not double this recipe unless you have additional helping hands. A bunch of them disappeared in no time. Even before I could finish making the rest of the ladoos, about 7 or 8 were already gone. They were that good. Crunchy from the outside but not hard to break your teeth or your jaws. Thank you so much for watching today's video and all my other videos. Like this video, do give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel Life at 365 if you haven't already done so. Here's wishing you all Shubha Makar Sankranti, Lori Ki, Lakh Lakh Vadaiya, Happy Pona, Shubha Utrayari and the best of the season. See you all in the next one.